All right, I figured I should probably make a video of this part here. It's only been a few minutes. Because <laughs> uh, this is one difficulty that arises when putting the, the, the tower back in that the cam sits on, or stanchion, or whatever they might call it, pedestal. I don't know. I had this uh, piece of board that I, I found at the wrecking yard, and I, I brought the pieces from on. And I cut a strip of it so that it would fit in between uh, the, the studs. But covered that because you have to put the lifters in first. And if you turn this upside down, they'll fall out, fall all over the place, and they won't stay on top of the valves. So, so you have to hold them in place while you put it in place with something that's flexible enough that you can pull it out from underneath when they're close enough that they'll fall onto the valve and not fall out of this part. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Mm. Oh, I Yay, they're down in there. This seems to have seated nicely. All right. Mm -hmm. This is still intact. I wonder if I even got a mess with it. Oh wait, that's just the pump assembly. That's right, okay. On the Vanos, uh, this is a hydraulic pump here that's operated by uh, a solenoid and it uses oil pressure to advance or retard a second set of these teeth in order to change the cam timing in relation to the rest of the motor in order to, you know, individual cam timing on the fly. It's a pretty trick setup. A lot of minds pondered a long time for many years over how to make this happen that you can adjust your cam timing while something is running because that's the holy grail for the uh, head work because that's what rusty said hmm. all right uh, i'll be back 